Travelers heading to rural Liberia through the city of Peensville and residents of the suburban city now have a glance they will be mesmerized by. The new Dupereau Junction is far from its looks just three months ago. Covered with more than 150 petty traders, the junction lingered in piles of garbage and transformed at night into an informal market ground, leaving drivers and residents frustrated and dreading the traffic congestion at the junction. The Duper Road Junction is a major intersection that leads to over 10 large communities with a growing population estimated at 114,321 residents, as per the 2008 National Census. Recognizing the importance of community development and community pride, Mayor C. Sivette Gibson earmarked several projects within the city of Painesville shortly after becoming mayor in late 2012. Such projects included Buy Your Dirt Project, renovation of the City Hall, the Solid Waste Management Project, and the Painesville City Beautification Project which includes the renovation of two parks and the rendering of the ELWA and now the Duper Road Junction. The Peensville City Beautification Project was created to enhance the beauty in communities in Peensville while increasing community pride. During the month of June 2014, with funding from the National Social Security and Welfare Corporation, NASCOR, the first beautification project at the ELW Junction was completed and dedicated by the President of the Republic of Liberia, Her Excellency Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. At the official dedication ceremony of the ELW Junction rendering, President Sirleaf underscored the need for the beautification project to extend to the Duper Road Junction. One year later, with the generous contribution from NASCOR, the Duper Road project was completed. The Duper Road beautification project features a Palawa hut, walkways, hedges, and lots of greenery. The project, which began on a sunny day in March 2015, created employment opportunities for many young people within the Duper Road community. After several hard working days and a smooth working relationship with the community and business owners, today, June 30th, 2015, the Duper Road Beautification Project is being dedicated. In the words of Mayor Gibson, the appearance of a municipality is the reflection of its occupants. Duper Road, let's maintain the green. Welcome. Uh, my name is Danny Dalawa. And what's your question? A special project is uh, the of Mayor Gibson to have green spaces throughout the city of Peaceville. Because as you know, Peaceville is the largest geographical uh, city in Liberia. And we have a lot of green spaces, but I think a lot of them are not managed well. So she wanted to kind of create green spaces throughout the city of Peaceville. We were from the LW Junction, uh, we completed a beautification project coming to Duper Road. We want to, again, just create another green space uh, at this junction, because this is a very popular junction. Uh, it leads you into red light, there's a lot of residents uh, once you get on the Duper Road uh, road. So we just kind of want, we want people to see a beautiful green space. And if I hire you, you live on the Duper Road? I do live on the Duper Road. So this is a project that is close to us? Exactly.
Ой, что ты делаешь? Я не знаю, как я могу это сделать. Mr. Edwin Pombula, Mr. George Bush, and Mr. Eric Williams 
for their important land profit and dedication in this endeavor. Here's your city project, Stephanie Duncan, Musu Gope, and Julia Lawrence. I know I sent you all crazy, but your dedication to the city is immeasurable. PCC employees, your devotion to this project has extended beyond your employment expectations. The appearance of the municipality is a reflection of its occupants. Let's transform this city together. Thanks for helping to retain the grade. Ten Swazo Pisos of Portugal Observe. On behalf of the celebration of Prince of Youth, we are pleased today. It is our appropriate appreciation to Madam President and the, the, the reciprocal collaboration for giving us such a unique meal, youthful oriented, for working in a simple way to our time. The job, Madam President, that the young people of this country are prepared and will be prepared to be after your term. <laughs> Madam Mayor, over the time time since your appointment for the city of Kinsey, we have noticed that the passion for youth development Youth empowerment cannot be overemphasized. After our regular program, you were there with us, giving tackle young people in the city, scholarship to continue where they have stopped. We, as the Federation of Prison Youth, honor for the one organization, young people who are prepared to move forward. We are today happy. Thank you, please come out. On behalf of the Federation of Princeton Youth, we are prepared. We are prepared to work with you continuously. Make sure that your dreams and aspirations come alive with our working. Madam President, thank you for giving us a youthful mayor who is prepared to take on the challenges and the old against all old, Madam Mayor, the young people above all else. Thank you. Our dynamic and loving.
So take the initiative to create those green places in our homes, around our homes, so that our children and our families can have a better place to live. It's known that a healthy family makes a, a healthy society, and a healthy society leads to a sound economic foundation. Enjoy your part and please help to keep it clean. Our illustrious leader, leader, members of the Tuesday Legislative Caucus, our senator here, members of the folk actors, religious leaders, the people of Peaceville City, the Federation of Peaceville Youth, members of the folk estates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Madam President, we are grateful to you, Madam President, for giving us this doctor, giving us this illustrious media, a media that I kept to transform our city, the mayor that is hardworking, the mayor that is developmental oriented. When I was president, the conference was asked me to express our appreciation, our taste and appreciation to you. We have been around for a while, Madam President, but we have not seen this before for the matter of fact some of us at home in the city of England grew up and where we found ourselves. But this woman has proven herself. She has made us proud on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'd like to say to you, Madam President, your selection, your appointment to our sister, our mayor, Sylvia Gilsey, was no mistake. Our cities will always have this agreement, communication will always be in your, at your desk, I mean in your office or your desk. But the peace this city is calm and quiet because of our working relationship, the unity that has existed among us. The Congress has asked me, Madam President, to convey our sentiment to include the Senator of Montserrat County, Ambassador George Villa, Senator Ambassador George Villa, who lived in Kingsville City, Senator Geraldine Dosheri, who lived in Kingsville City, of the Baptist Brahma Formula, Aaron Formula, who lived in Kingsville City, as the member of the Congress, Bill Quarry, including myself, as well as the civil coming. We all enjoy this working relationship, as well as the people of Kingsville. But I may would like to say congratulations. Thank you so much for keeping the hands up high. We get our cooperation. We always work with you. And we always want to see you doing these things that are wrong with this crowd. That's why, Madam President, we are like to have one opportunity to the best of our knowledge as the Congress Chairman of Kingsville for saving our military because we enjoy our working relationship in the midst of the challenges too. The people of Kingsville, this is your project. There is the common say among us as Guadiris. When our project of such is constructed, we say it is government team. This is not only government, but this is for you. It is for us, the people of Kingsville. The maintenance and management of this project it is imperative upon every one of us. We can assure you, Madam Mayor, the way we work, our continual effort will continue to be with you, as well as the leadership of your own city, to make sure that this is protected as far as always be, like the year of the Thank you very much for this opportunity. Congratulations, congratulations to the people of Kingsville City. Thank you. Joseph Sully, our dynamic and illustrious president, our mayor, Sylvain Gibson, and our senator in whom we are well pleased, Senator Johnson, the chairman and members of the Kingsville Legislative Caucus, Federation of Kingsville Students, and our committee chair, Kingsville resident, platform guests, one and all. For being today, it's just commendation. But I first want to thank you for uh, Sivet, for the vision, and also to thank NASCA you know, for providing the funding. For us, on behalf of the people of District Number 4, we are grateful that you thought on our district to bring this project. We are very, very grateful to you. But let me just say to everyone else that the face of Peace is changing. Peace is no longer 
a city and many qualities that we knew way back. So then we want an indeed degree, but I want an agree. It has to be reflected in the budget. Madam President, we have the largest population in most of our county. We got 400 and some thousand out of the We sit on Monroe six million dollars. We need to hold an honest conversation and see how best we can put something in the budget for our Dunhamer. I'm very, I'm very grateful to you, and I want to say the last thing before I take my seat. We got to do something about the pavement riders. We need to create a tenant for them so that they too can have a place as beautiful as it is. I can assure you that this facility will be protected. We we'll have our people here coming this girl for the full service to we'll make sure that no somebody is taken from here. I want to say thank you to all of you, and Madam President, I want to say thank you for the vision that you brought forth in our district and the NASCO we will forever remain grateful to you. Thank you and God bless all of us. Now I have the most important part of the board and there is little that I can add to what's already been said by our legislators by our youths, by other officials who have spoken before me to commend the mayor for what she's done. The transformation that has taken place under her watch with the support of NASCO and official entity. Uh, these are the things that really make a difference. These are the people of commitment who make a difference. And so when we come, we only come to join others to applaud them for what they've done. But we also want to applaud the citizens of Kingsville, the young people who work with her, the contractors who did this beautiful piece of work, to say to all of them how much we appreciate what you do to join in this transformation. Progress always bring desire for more progress. And so whenever we see something like this concluded, we think ahead. What else can make it still a better place? Now, one has been mentioned by, by Representative Pamela, he talked about some place for the Pampan riders. I guess we're meaning a place where they can have a station where they can park when they're looking for their passengers and whatnot. But I also want to talk about that graveyard. Because there's a graveyard here, not too far from this place, and it's in very bad shape. And one of the things we want to do is to see that we give respect to the dead. And that means trying to make sure that where they lie, where their remains lie, that we can show respect by having it in a place. If it's overcrowded, we want to close it down, but close it down in a proper fashion and try to make sure that those of their relatives and associates who will go there will go there in a place of dignity. And so I'm going to challenge the mayor to make sure that we look at the 10 10 situation, but we also look at the graveyard and see what we can do about that. I I looked at the uh, I looked at the demonstration there of uh, the project, the project display, and I saw that it said acting mayor of Facebook. So I asked the mayor, I said, "But you still acting mayor?" <laughs> yeah. She said, "Yes, I'm still acting mayor." I said, "My goodness, that's something we gotta correct." So I'm, I'm putting it in your hands, even though I know it's. Uh, it's a, it's a Senate function, but the Senate are your police. So when I put it before you, you will work with them. I will make sure I get the nomination to you, and I will call upon you to do what you have to do with your colleague so we can confirm her. If I get a Senate right there. Please believe him. Yes, Senator Joseph right here. So he would take the chance, you would talk to him. And he would take that, he would take that baton, and he would make sure that he takes it to the finish line. Yeah? Okay. 
he knows that what a role he played in a way in our organization. So we want to thank you for that. We want to thank you for all that you've done to show the strength of purpose, the commitment in objective, and the result that has come from all of that effort. And to all of you, as it has been said before, please keep this part nice and clean. Please manage it to, the, to your own enjoyment, to your own pleasure, and your own satisfaction. Thank you.
and to become one with nature. With that being said, we have many more projects in the municipality that we're trying to do. We're looking forward to people coming in with their corporate social responsibilities and endorsing our Queensville Park project. That is a project that will be directed towards children. That means swings, a playground, a water area, um, and also developing a Painesville Recreational Park and Recreational Department. So not only will you create a park for the children, but you'll also develop um, a completely different department that doesn't currently exist. Um, there are many more things that we're doing in the municipality as well. Um, as you know, our concentration is not primarily green space. Um, our mandate is we are a service-oriented agency. Um, we have gone ahead and come up with our waste management program in which we intend on doing door-to-door -door waste collection. We look forward to you all endorsing that as well. As a citizen, we look forward to you um, allowing the city corporation to come in and collect your waste at a very minimal price. Um, as we continue to do many things in the municipality, we will remain in touch. Um, we want to say thank you very much and we look forward to you all enjoying the facility at Duke